Don't sports talk worldwide. It's news from the world of boxing. See so y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, unfortunately, March Madness is over. Got a good month of heavyweight boxing. Heavyweights took center stage, and we had some good fights. You know, uh, significant fights. You know, top four heavyweights going at it in a little tournament, spiced up with uh, two little fights in between, the Dillian White-Lucas Brown fight ending uh, dramatically, the David Price versus Alexander Povetkin fight ending dramatically, right? Two other ones, you know, those are the major players. They had to, you know, fight, and we've seen two good ones, you know, I thought. And after Joshua Joseph Parker, you know, and Joshua wins the fight, Joseph Parker can still keep his head up, went 12 rounds, he has things he can look forward to, you know, also the referee, you know, not letting them do inside work. Uh, people know that. People saw that, even British people. So, you know, he can at least uh, get himself together and get right back in the mix. Luis Ortiz, the one whose phone is getting dust on it because <laughs> ain't nobody calling him. He going to fire his manager in a minute because they can't get a fight. That Luis, the real King Kong Ortiz, the name that you won't hear unless Deontay Wilder is saying it which I'm so happy that he said, if you want to fight me, fight him first so you can feel froggy. You notice everybody's not talking about him. He will get, and I'm going to say it, you know, this video ain't got nothing to do about him, really. But he's going to get the Guillermo Rigondeaux treatment, right? Which means, you know, something that looks like, if I told you, for example, what has happened to Guillermo Rigondeaux, you would think I was talking about the 20s. Hey, man, that was really bad for y'all in the 1920s and the 1930s. You wouldn't think this was information or something that could happen in the time of what you guys with the social media going on and telling everybody that they Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter, you know, if you want all of how could that happen? And it just tells you the pulse of a nation and a, a world that a fighter can have fighters around him that won't fight him, have to go up two weight divisions to fight a monster, the best in the world, basically, two weight divisions, lose that fight, his belt two fight two divisions lower is taken from him, even though he's not fighting for that belt. Guys around him are allowed to not fight him. You know, people in the English should be like, Yo, Scott Queen, when you fight, we don't care, because you can fight Rigondeaux. Right? Uh, what's the other one? Carl Frampton. Fight anybody? No, we ain't coming. So you fight Rigging down. We want to see want to see you measure up with this old guy, right? You go to the Mexican, you know, Bill Santa Cruz. We ain't coming. So you fight Rigging down. Abner Mars. We ain't showing up. Nope. So you fight Rigging down. Measure yourselves against the old guy. But the sanctioning bodies and everybody let them just not fight the guy and just go away. That's exactly what's going to happen to Lewis Bill King Kong Ortiz. Because no fighters ain't going to say his name. I, I, really, let's just listen to the silence when it comes to Lewis Bill King Kong Ortiz. And I encourage everybody that's in the boxing community and guys that care, even big, you know, these big uh, YouTube channels and stuff like that, these guys with all these subscribers, they're going to be on it. Trust me. Somebody's going to know Lewis Bill King Kong Ortiz will get ignored if somebody don't keep putting his name up there. Because he's a significant fighter. Anybody that can beat him is awesome. There's only one of them that done done that. And I said done done that. And that's Deontay Wilder. So let's not forget Lewis, the real King Kong Ortiz. And while we're talking, Guillermo Rigondeaux either. Somebody needs to fight him. Or well, boycott something. Y'all boycott stuff. But anyway, to the point. The best news of recently in the heavyweight division. Right? Recently. Which means after the Joshua fight. Things I want to hear is Dillian White coming off his uh, sensational win over Lucas Brown. Uh, Lucas Brown was undefeated. Now, we ain't going to say after the fight what he can't do. He was undefeated, right? Beat Shaka F, give him that. Although he was behind that fight, but he handled his business. It was undefeated, right? Regular heavyweight, WBA regular heavyweight champion. So, Dillian White got rid of him. Now, Pavekin did the same thing to David Price. What we all thought. Like it was a little, a little trouble in that fight, but hey, got the job done, right? So Dillian White and Pavekin for June. That's what they heard talking about. 
Dillian ready to do it. I haven't really heard if Pavekin's ready to do it, but that would be a good fight. I would like to see the fight. I think that would kind of, you know, these guys stop calling out um, the ma the major two players. You know, the major two players, and that's Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder. Let's all get out of the way. Let's all, you know, make sure that we ain't going to let the promoters ask for stuff, other stuff. And, and we'll be happy with another fight, an interim fight, and the get to know them fight. If you don't know them, then you're way too casual. If you don't know these guys. Even Deontay Wilder, now they done said his name, you know, in front of all them people. So everyone knows who these guys are. That's the fight that has to happen. And remember, guys, it's not like it's only one fight. These guys are undefeat, undefeated, undisputed, and all these things. And then the fight's close. They can have a rematch, like all of the legends have. It's not a big thing. So... Let's get out of the way of that. So my point is the other guys can eliminate each other or fight each other. So one of them crystallize themselves as somebody to be pushing up on the guy who wins the unification match, the under the, the match for undisputed heavyweight champion. Dillian White fights Povetkin. The winner of that's looking pretty darn good. And in the meantime, somebody else that's pushing up on a title fight Lewis Real King Kong Ortiz. And you'll look pretty darn good. And then people will say, hey, yeah, fight the winner of Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, uh, before they fight each other again or after they fight each other again. That's the reason why I like that news. Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin in June would be a good fight, and I'll be happy to have to have that fight. Because my reasoning is eliminate each other and get out of the way of the unification match between the two heavyweights in the discussion. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide. And we're about here, y'all.